I've seen it all. I've been on Pinterest, I've been on TikTok, on YouTube, I've made my own fridge cleaning video, and after all of my research, I've come to the conclusion that I just need to organize my fridge in a way that works for my eating and cooking preferences. A lot of the inspiration images that I was seeing just wasn't realistic for what I eat. I personally like to cook a lot of Korean and Asian cuisine, so I need to make sure that my fridge was fully stocked with all of the ingredients I need. I also tend to forget about things that are in the way, way back of the fridge. They tend to get neglected, they expire and mold, and so I just want to make sure that everything is visible and not overstock my fridge. What I actually did before I went in and started organizing my fridge is I took a photo of my freezer in my fridge and I tried to roughly categorize where I wanted certain things to go, and this just gave me a better idea of how to sort everything. To make my fridge cleaning solution, I'm using a 3 to 1 ratio of warm water and white vinegar. I'm also going to add a few drops of essential oil. I just have bergamot essential oil on hand and this is just to kind of cancel out the vinegary smell. And I'm going to use this to clean my entire fridge and freezer. We're going to clean my fridge. I'm going to show you what the before looks like. This is realistically just untouched, haven't cleaned in a while fridge, so don't judge. As you can see, I have so many sauces and condiments, but if I could only choose one, it would have to be the Sichuan Chili Crisp Oil from Fly By Jane, who is today's video sponsor. They sent me this jar. I actually became addicted and I bought the second jar myself. If you have not heard, Fly By Jing makes premium Sichuan sauces and pantry essentials that you can put on anything and everything. Their best selling trio of sauces are the Zong sauce, a sweet, tangy, spicy, and umami rich sauce, the Mala Spice Mix, a blend of 11 herbs and spices, and my favorite, the Sichuan Chili Crisp, a spicy, crispy, numbing, and deliciously savory sauce. It is also the first all natural chili crisp available in the West with no additives or preservatives. I've been using this on some of my go-to dishes, one being onigiri for lunch. I add it to tuna with some kewpie mayo. Also, my go-to dinner is pad kapow, and when you add chili oil to it, it just takes it to another level. If you want to try out Fly By Jing, you can get 15% off by going to flybyjing.com and using the code CHRIS15. Thank you once again to Fly By Jing for sponsoring this video.
take everything out of the fridge now. I don't know. Beautiful. Now it's time to do the freezer. I'm honestly, I'm too short to see how clean the bottom of this is. I'm on my tippy toes right now trying to clean this. So, you know what?
I'm gonna go grocery shopping, but before I do, I wanted to write down a list of everything I need to restock my freezer and fridge on my laundry list notepad. I'm gonna first make a list for the freezer. I need ice cream. That is quite an essential. And then for the fridge, maybe butter, chicken, sour cream, drinks, fruits, vegetables, so yesterday I basically cleaned my fridge. I went grocery shopping and then today I was like not sure if I should do this or not And I'm so glad I did it if you've been on my channel for a while like this probably is no surprise to you But I decided today that I wanted to label everything in my fridge labeling everything in my fridge just scratched a little itch that I didn't know I had. Am I moving in a few months and will I have to peel all this off soon? Yes, but will it be worth it to see it every time I open my fridge for the next few months? Yes. I think it's time to finally give you a tour of my fridge. I'm gonna start with the first row on top here. So as you can see, I need a space at all times for leftovers because I'm always having some random half an onion and last night's dinner and all of that. So I just needed a wide space on top and ready to eat foods, foods that just need to be eaten up gets placed here. And then I have a section for dairy. Also in the way back, I have some whole milk, heavy cream, and half and half. The very back of the fridge stays the coldest, so I wanted to leave that stuff there. So this is some yogurt, sour cream. I have cream cheese and extra butter back there. And then here I have some cheeses and breads. So I have different types of sourdough and tortilla in the back. I also have this cheese holder. Wow, you can't even see. <laughs> Um, that stores my fancy cheeses and then I just love string cheese as a snack or sometimes when I want to put mozzarella in my meals I will use string cheese on to the second row so here I basically I always have eggs in my fridge this section is honestly my miscellaneous section and I think it's good to have a section where you know anything can go but usually it'll be like extra produce and stuff so this is some bean sprouts. This is some leftover arugula. I have some Thai basil and roasted seaweed. And I also have a lot of space in the back to put even more things. But yeah, sometimes I just have extra containers of food that I need to put somewhere and that will be the place for that. Why am I huffing and puffing? And then moving on to this section, this is where I leave my protein. So currently I have tofu, I have ground beef, smoked salmon, I have leftover chicken breast. I basically tried to fill up this drawer amount of protein and not any more than this, otherwise it'll start to go bad. This is probably my favorite little section here. I decided to use these clear container drawers to put all of my paste. Pastes. Why is that so hard to say? Okay, so in here I have gochujang, samjang, and tuanjang. I love this with cucumbers and green peppers. Uh, this is great for obviously tendenshige, so there's that. And then this is another one. I recently bought this stuff. So I have jajang for jajangmyeon and jajangbap. 
and um, I got some miso. So those are my little pastes. And then here, I really wanna get into fermenting, so I don't know, I need a whole fridge dedicated to fermentation, honestly, but last night I pickled some red onions. This is so good to have on hand for putting on top of avocado toast. Literally any meal where you feel like it's a little too greasy or heavy and you need something a little bit more tart. I love this stuff and it's just so pretty. I also have some leftover radish and some kimchi in the back. And of course, always stocked on some sparkling water because my husband loves sparkling water. Um, and then, hello kitty. This girl is the reason why like cat fur just ends up in my fridge and that was the hardest part of cleaning my fridge which is all of the cat hair because whenever I open the fridge she thinks I'm gonna feed her. Basically my fridge comes with two produce drawers so on the left side is where I put all of my fruits and on the right side is where I put all my veggies. I also put kitchen towels on the bottom of the drawers so that it catches any debris from the produce and so it just makes it a lot easier to clean the bottom. And here I have mangoes, apples, oranges, and lemons. I don't really have berries because I don't eat berries that often, so just decided to stop buying them so often. For my veggies, I have some daikon radish that I need to use up ASAP. I have ginger, green squash. Love this. I also need to use up this green onion. I always get green onion, like whenever I go to the grocery store. Cabbage and carrots. Okay. Okay, onto my fridge door. So over here, I have a whole dedicated section for my cat's food. And then sometimes we have an extra packet here. So yeah, I just want it completely separated from the human food. And then I put my dish of butter in here. Um, honestly, I could fit another stick. I have my AG1 Daily Greens. I made some freshly squeezed OJ, our water filter pitcher. Of course, all of the sauces and condiments. And this section here is looking a little bit sad. I basically wanted to put my sweet condiments here. So maple syrup, peanut butter, jam, and then just room for any extra drinks or whatever we have. I want to make more smoothies again for the summertime. So I have almond milk, soy milk. I don't know what ultra soy means, but okay. And then beef broth and chicken stock. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely. And lastly, the freezer. Let's open her up. I'm so happy with this freezer transformation. So over here, I made ice. Oh, I totally forgot. I actually made some coffee ice. So I made some coffee ice and yeah, it's not looking cute. Just have some shabu meat. This is some frozen fruit because as I said, I wanna make some smoothies and maybe some smoothie bowls for the summer. So I have frozen strawberries, blueberries, and acai packets. This is miscellaneous foods, pretty much ready to eat foods. So in the back I have natto, gyozas, and dumplings. This section, I love. I use these white containers to kind of conceal the chaos of these foods. This is my cat's food. I know it takes up like a quarter of my freezer. And um, I'm so glad it all fit in here because it just looks so much better than before. And then in here, I have so much frozen fish and meats. And uh, I honestly just like stuffed it in this drawer and we need to eat this up. That's what I realized after organizing my freezer is that we have so much frozen meat that we should eat up. Like tuna, fish, just like tons of frozen fish and meat. And then this is all of my carbs. So I do like to freeze some rice to always have on hand and then I just microwave it. Um, and then the back I have frozen udon noodles and some rice cakes. These are just so good to have on hand. That is my freezer. Okay, I'm so happy with what I did here as well. This is where I'm gonna put all my popsicles. This is one of my favorites. It's called Tank Boy and it tastes like frozen Asian pear. It's so refreshing. I never do this, but I treated myself to three whole pints of ice cream. 
just to have some options. Sicilian pistachio, vanilla bean, oh, cookies and cream, my favorite. Honestly, I, they all sound good. And then lastly, in this shelf, we have Korean spices. So I just put them all in these little stasher bags. This is peeled garlic. I honestly need a separate one for minced garlic in here, but just can never have enough garlic. And then the crushed ginger cubes, red chili peppers, so great to add into dishes. And then green peppers, red chili powder, and sesame seeds. And I think these are from Korea. My mom gave me them. Um, and, and that concludes the fridge tour. I hope you enjoyed. You can follow me at Chris Soup, at the Glow Hour Podcast, at Kind Care, and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye bye. I like it how it is